Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today is the first in a series of recipe videos that I'm planning on creating, which teach you to bake using store cupboard ingredients. This is what loads of you have asked for because a lot of us are finding ourselves with more time at home, um, but with less in the cupboards than we would normally have to bake. So I thought I would try and come up with a few recipes that we can all give a go at home um, to use some of that time, maybe to give to a neighbor or a friend or just eat yourself if you're feeling like something a little bit indulgent. So the first recipe um, that I've come up with is a store cupboard flapjack. Um, to make them a little bit extra special and a bit crunchy, I am using some cornflakes, looks like I've got a bowl of cereal, um, some cornflakes just to give it a little bit more of a golden colour and a bit of crunchy texture. Even if you're one of those people that likes their flapjacks really soft, adding in a few cornflakes means you can still have a soft chewy flapjack but with a little element of crunch which I really like. So I've got all of my ingredients here. You will need some porridge oats. Any oats will work for this recipe. They don't necessarily have to be porridge ones. And if you are gluten-free, use gluten-free oats and gluten-free cornflakes. We've got the cornflakes. I'm using some demerara sugar, which is a brown sugar that's a little bit more chunky than your average brown sugar. You can use plain brown sugar or you can even use caster sugar, but I'd recommend using something brown because it gives it a little bit more of that caramelized flavor. Then we've got golden syrup. I know this is quite hard to get hold of in the States, so you can use corn syrup instead because there's not loads in the recipe, but if you use corn syrup, I would definitely recommend using a brown sugar because otherwise you won't get that same kind of depth of flavor that you would get otherwise. And the last thing is butter. And I'm using a salted butter because you really need that element of salt. Um, but if you haven't got it, then just use a little sprinkle of salt when you come to mix it all together. So we're gonna start combining all those ingredients together. So we've got the brown sugar that goes in first. And then I'm going to add the butter in as well. When you come to add in your golden syrup, you want to just get a little cup of boiling water and stick your tablespoon in there first to warm up because that's really gonna help it to slide off. So once you've warmed that up, you can take your syrup and we need one tablespoon and it should just slide in and not create too much mess because it is notoriously messy. And now this is going to go onto the heat, so take it over here. see that it's melted down but there's still a few little lumps of sugar so you get that nice crunch so now we're going to add in our oats and our cornflakes and we're going to stir it all together and as we stir you kind of want um, to crush those cornflakes a little bit so that it glues it all together if they stay too whole your flatbread will be a bit crumbly when it comes out of the oven so stir that through, don't worry about crunching. And now all those oats are coated. I'm gonna tip my mixture into my lined tin. And then use a metal spoon or a spatula to even it out into that tin. So these have come out of the oven. They are lovely and golden and they smell really amazing. You can add in any kind of dried fruits or um, kind of spices if you've got them in your cupboard, but the plain ones are delicious just as they are. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, let me know in the comments anything that you would like to see over the next couple of weeks, um, ingredients you've got in your cupboard, things that we can bake together. Um, and thanks for watching.